Derek Jeter has stayed very busy in his life after baseball. His latest venture is telling online bullies to stop it. It's also the name of his first tech investment since retiring from the New York Yankees. It's an app that allows students to anonymously report abuse to administrators in real time. Joining us now to discuss is Todd Schobel. He is the CEO of Stop It. We are also joined by Bloomberg Sports reporter Evan Novi Williams. Um, great to see you here, Todd. Great to see you, Scott. So how did Derek Jeter get involved with Stop It? How did this transpire? Oh, there was a mutual business relationship to folks that knew uh, Stop It and uh, the foundation. And we got to know one another and introduced uh, what we were doing. And the rest is history. I mean, it's a tremendous partnership coming together for this. Did you bring it to him or did he inquire about it? I mean, how does this fit in with his other interests? Well, you know, interest on the foundation, obviously, with Jeter's leaders and dedication to uh, everything they do and uh, being upstanders, being uh, ambassadors for their communities. So the, the synergies were great. It was, just, it was just a really good mix. He's invested in this app. Uh, what does he bring as an investor? How has he helped you guys get the word out? Well, you know, obviously with his awareness. And, you know, the big thing about Derek is what, obviously what he does in the field is fantastic. Um, but, you know, uh, off the field, as we all know, I mean, uh, Derek is just, he lives it. And he lives uh, respect. And he, and he lives um, you know, such a great, wonderful role model for everybody. So it's fantastic for us. And that brings our awareness to all right. spread all over the world. It really helps our brand. And coming together with the Jeter's leaders in turn two is, is awesome. He's like a brand ambassador in many ways for you guys. Well, you know, he's going to help us get the word out. Yeah. And, well, Abby Novin Williams, I want to bring you into this because you wrote about this in Bloomberg News today. How does this app, this investment, this app fit in with Derek Jeter's other business ventures? I mean, he's, again, stayed pretty busy after retiring. You're right. He stayed busy, and I think it fits in perfectly. As, as Todd was saying, Jeter spent a whole, his whole career cultivating this image as, as a good guy in an era where athletes, the, the spotlight is on them, and sometimes you see a little bit too much, and you realize that they're not the person that you think they are. And Derek has stayed above that completely. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, so it, when, when Derek attaches his name to something like this, it has, I think, more weight than you'd see with a lot of other athletes, both because of Jeter's public image and because he doesn't invest as much as some other athletes. He's kind of meticulous, which, if you watch Derek play, doesn't surprise you at all. Uh, so, so when he does decide to, to invest or, or attach his name and his foundation to a company like Stop It, I think, uh, I think the world takes notice. You know, I think it's interesting not to put, make light of any childhood bullying or anything, but Derek had to live through years of relentless... Uh, questions from the New York media, which some people would describe as bullying in their <laughs> yeah. own right. Um, years of dealing with New York media certainly taught him quite a bit. Uh, what have you observed in terms of how he proceeds with his post-MLB career? So Derek was, when he was playing, he was very smart in terms of setting himself up financially for life after baseball. Uh, he's good friends with Michael Jordan, who pretty much invented the athlete post-retirement yeah. brand. Uh, he's friends with Indra Nooyi, the, the CEO of, of Pepsi. So he's aligned himself with the right people and that's mo most important for an athlete of Jeter stature we were just saying backstage that when you're an athlete uh, and you have a lot of money advisors are knocking on your door they're tearing down walls to work with you and you have to be smart about who you who you align with and I think so far Derek has, has proved that He's aligning with the right people, and he's doing it the smart way. And Ted, uh, Todd, very quickly, last question here. Uh, what's the feedback so far on the Stop It app? What have you heard? It's been enormous. I mean, we're getting reached out from all over the world. Uh, so I think we're doing a really great thing, and people are standing up and, and taking notice. All right. Thank you so much for joining thank us Thank you very much. I've been speaking with Todd Schobel. He's the CEO of the anti-bullying app Stop It. It's available on mobile devices. And, of course, Bloomberg sports reporter Evan Novi williams